Hello. 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 Today we're going to be talking about the Bloody Prime caster. The blood, the plasma, the... Wow. Why can't I say this? We're going to be talking about my favorite heavy weapon, the plasma caster. To get this weapon, you have to go to Vault 79, which is to the right of the crater. Once inside, you're going to want to talk to this guy in the corner, Regs. This is our guy. From Regs, you're going to buy the Plasma Caster Blueprint, the Aligned Sniper Barrel, and the Prime Capacitor. Now, get ready to pause the screen, because these are the best legendary effects you can get for the Blooding or Full Health variant. And these are some honorable mentions. They're not quite as good as the others, but they're also not bad either. And this is what a God World Plasma Caster will look like. Now let's have some fun and put this gun to the test. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Pretty fucking great. Now to the build. In strength, we have Traveling Pharmacy, because there's currently no other way to wear a power armor without this card. All the heavy gunners and lock and load for more DPS. In perception, we have Concentrated Fire, because we're a VATS build, Exterminator, and Glow Sight. Endurance, our usual suspects. And Charisma, if we're on a team, we're running Strange in Numbers and Tenderizer. But if you're running solo, use Lone Wanderer. In Intelligence, we're running Nerd Rage and Power User. Power User is an important card, 
because VATS drains fusion core battery. So we use this card to make the most out of our fusion cores so we don't constantly have to get more. Battery is included because the ammo is heavy and stabilized for more DPS with a heavy weapon. Gunsmith with our remaining points to help offset the number of times we need to repair the gun. Gunfu because it's a VATS build, adrenaline and action boy, and in luck, Bloody Mess, Better Criticals, Class Freak, Starts Chains, and Ricochet. And Legendary Perks, we're using Far Flung Fireworks for a little extra kick when we kill people. Luck, Endurance, Intelligence, Agility, and Strength. Now for Mutations. We're running Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Carnivore, Eagle Eyes, Marsupial, Scaly Skin, and Speed Demon. I am running Healing Factor, but I'm just testing it out right now. So far it's been okay, but it's not needed for this build. The Plasma Caster is a lot of fun to use. It'll one-shot most enemies, at the most two. It's a really great bossing weapon, and out of all the guns in the game, it's probably the most ammo efficient. It is just so easy to stack ammo using this weapon. Plus, it looks like something a Stormtrooper would drive on Andor and it makes a really cool bassy flop sound when you use it. I do wish the projectile were more like a laser beam instead of a green booger, but it does remind me of a BFG when it fires because as the projectile shoots out, it'll expand into this like green spider web that reminds me a lot of Doom. For a long time, I was running the calibrated capacitor, which is a critical damage receiver. It did a lot of damage, it would usually crit in the range of 2.6, 2.4k, but the initial hit would hit for about 800 and 900 damage. I switched to the prime receiver because I found that my initial hit would hit much higher in the 1000 to 1200 range, but my crit hits were slightly lower in the 2.2, 2.4k range. So it's about even, but there was less of a chance of me having to two-shot an enemy. For that reason, I think that Prime is the better receiver. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful and want to see more in the future, please consider a like and a sub. And I hope you have an awesome day. Take care.